Hello there, boys and girls. So, in this video, we have this uh, rather stunning looking BMW X6. Uh, this car is here for a full treatment um, involving sanding, involving polishing, as well as ceramic coating. But before all of those things, I want to show you how to remove the fish eyes. What are fish eyes, you might ask? Well, these little holes here in the paint, that's basically grease. Grease that is mixed in with paint and caused a flat spot when painting. Since this part of the car has been repainted um, completely, this is something that might have happened during the painting process itself. A few drops of grease might have come onto the paint and create this flat spot. But we will try to even this out. We'll try to solve this issue. So stay with us and see how we'll manage to succeed in this. So we have already done a video with the fish eyes. But now we'll try to fill them in with the super glue. Yes, super glue. This you could do with hardener and clear coat, but since not everyone has hardener or clear coat in their basement, which I do, uh, but many don't, so we'll try to use the super glue for this process. So, yeah, let's try. This might be very helpful for everyone who has super glue. So, as you can see, these two spots need to be filled in with the super glue. So we take the hoop super glue and fill in these two spots with the super glue. Now, when applying apply very small amounts like so you don't want it to start running so just tap it on tap it on until it fills the hole remember filling the hole is important fill it good there we go i'm filling it real good here yeah boys and girls there we go yeah so now we'll let it dry And then we'll see how to remove the excess of the glue and see if we fixed this problem. So after this part has dried off, we'll use our trusty Mirka mini file, which I use for these small damages to file down the excess of the super glue. I guess I was filling it in a bit too much, but that is the process. You have to fill it in too much to be able to remove the excess. Better more than less. So we'll take the gentler side and, oh, let me just turn this around a little bit and start filing down. Now, I understand that for some viewers it might be painful to watch this happen to a BMW. It might be better on a Toyota, easier on the eyes, but in the hands of a Tatarga professional, this should be just fine. Have some faith. And let's continue filing this. Remember, the goal is to remove the resistance between the file and the super glue, or as much as possible. There's barely any resistance now, which might be the ideal situation. So as you can see here, there's no real resistance here anymore, so this should be the end of this process. There's only a small amount of resistance and this is normal, so now we'll take a 2000 grit paper, sand this down, and then polish it out to see if we get the wanted results. So 
Let's take our Kovacs cube, put some 2000 grit paper on, and sand away. Just like so, put it on. Here we go. Try not to apply too much pressure here. Remember, you don't want to damage it beyond repair. As you can see, just gently, but don't forget to wipe often. Here's a shot of my wonderful hair. It's very multicolored. Oh, yep, almost done it. Let's continue. Yes, white and creamy. This is what you get. Hmm, mixing up the shots with some hair. Wipe again. Hmm, there's a little bit here missing as you can see, but we'll fill it in later. But I do hope that we've managed to solve the majority of the problem. So let's see if we are able to remove our fish eyes. I think this was more than enough when it comes to the Kovax cube. You can always polish and see if there's anything else to be done, but uh, based on my professional feeling, this is ready for polishing. So let's do that. And as you can see here, well, let me just come closer. Yeah, the fish eyes are gone. They have been filled properly. <laughs> so I hope I helped you with this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon, maybe comment. Um, and we will be able to make more content for you. And until next time, boys and girls, stay safe, take care, and um, yeah, goodbye, boys and girls.